Good morning, folks. Hello, family. This is Raymond Exa Prophet again, coming to you from my apartment bedroom here in sunny Ocala, Florida. And this is the early edition of the Word for the Day, Part 6, April 30th, 2020. Once again, the Word for the Day, Part 6, or April 30th, 2020. And today is August 11th. Today is Tuesday, I believe. Today is Tuesday, August 11th, 2020, at 5.02 a.m. in the morning. And let's go ahead and get in the Word of God today. And I've got a lot to cover here. This is probably going to take about an hour to do. So let's go ahead and get started. April 29, 2020 at 9.06 p.m. during worship. By His stripes we were healed. By His stripes we were healed. Okay, let's start in Isaiah chapter 53 verses 4 through 5. Key verse 5. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 24 and 25. Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. For you are like sheep going astray, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. The book of Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 2. Know today that I did not speak with your children who have not known and who have not seen the chastening of the Lord your God, his greatness and mighty hand and his outstretched arm. Psalm 30, verse 2. O Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you healed me. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 30. Blows that hurt cleanse away evil, as do stripes the inner depths of the heart. Romans chapter 4 verse 25 Who was delivered up because of our offenses and was raised because of our justification. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 7 And he touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, this has touched your lips, your iniquity has taken away, and your sin purged. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 2 Speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her, that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Isaiah chapter 53, verses 6, 8, 10 through 12. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and he will declare his generation. For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people he was stricken. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grief. When you make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see the labor of his soul and be satisfied. By his knowledge my righteous servant shall justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he poured out his soul into death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bore the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 18. I have seen his ways, and will heal him. I will also lead him, and restore comfort to him, and to his mourners. An extra no entry, April 29th, 2020 at 9.08 p.m. His kingdom will never end. It is forever. His kingdom will never end. It is forever. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 7. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David over his kingdom, to order it and establish it, with judgment and justice. From that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. 
Luke chapter 1, verse 33. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. 2 Samuel, chapter 7, verses 13 and 16. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. And your house and your kingdom shall be established forever before you. Your throne shall be established forever. First Chronicles, chapter 22, verse 10. He shall build a house for my name, and he shall be my son, and I will be his father. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom over Israel forever. First Chronicles, chapter 28, verse 7. Moreover, I will establish his kingdom forever. If he is steadfast, deserve my commandments and my judgments, as it is this day. First Kings, chapter 2, verses 33 and 45. Their blood shall therefore return upon the head of Joab, and upon the head of the sinners forever. But upon David and his descendants, upon his house and his throne, there shall be peace forever from the Lord. But King Solomon shall be blessed. And the throne of David shall be established before the Lord forever. Psalm 45, verse 6. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. Psalm 89, verses 29, 36, and 37. His seed, as I will make to endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever like the moon, even like the faithful witness in the sky. Salah. Psalm 132, verse 12. If your sons will keep my covenant, and my testimony which shall I teach them, your sons also shall sit upon your throne forevermore. Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 25. Then they shall dwell in the land I have given to my Jacob and my servant, for your fathers dwell, and they shall dwell there, they, their children, and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Okay, folks and family, some additional books and verses from this journal entry. April 29, 2020, at 9.06 p.m. By his stripes we were healed. By his stripes we were healed. Here's the additional entries. Daniel chapter 9, verse 24. Seventy weeks are determined for your people and for your holy city to finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Zechariah chapter 13, verse 7. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, against the man who is my companion, says the Lord of hosts, strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. Then I will turn my hand against the little ones. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3. For I deliver to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. The book of Hebrews chapter 5, verse 8. Though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 28. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many, to those who eagerly wait for him, he will appear a second time, apart from sin, for salvation. The next joint entry is a bit lengthy, so just bear with me. April 29, 2020, at 9, 10 p.m. This is the word and message I received. We give power, dominion, glory, praise, and worship to the Lamb of God, the King of kings, and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give power, dominion, glory, praise, and worship to the Lamb of God, the King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Revelation chapter 5, verses 12 and 13. Sing with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth, and under the earth, and such are as in the sea, and all that are in them, I heard saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 21. 
To him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Jude chapter 1 verse 25 To God our Savior, who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. First Chronicles chapter 29 verse 11 Yours, O Lord, in the greatness, the power and the glory, the victory and the majesty, for all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Psalm 29, verses 1 and 2. Given to the Lord, O ye mighty ones, given to the Lord glory and strength, given to the Lord the glory due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Psalm 72, verses 18 and 19. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only does wondrous things, and blessed be his glorious name forever. Let the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and Amen. Psalm 78, verse 20. Behold, he struck the rock, but the waters gushed out, and the streams flow, overflowed. Can he give bread also? Can he provide meat for his people? Psalm 115, verse 1. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but to your name give glory, because of your mercy, because of your truth. Psalm 127, verse 5. Happy is a man who has his quiver full of them, they shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies in the gate. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3. And cried one another, and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For Yah, the Lord, is my strength and song. He also has become my salvation. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 12. Let them give glory to the Lord, and declare his praise in the coastlands. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 21. Tell and bring forth your case. Yes, let them take counsel together. Who has declared this from ancient time? Who has told it from that time? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God besides me, a just God and a Savior. There is none besides me. The book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse 37. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the King of Heaven, all of whose works are truth, and his ways justice, and those who walk in pride he is able to put down. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 13. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verse 14. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. The Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 22. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. John chapter 5, verse 44. How can you believe who receive honor from one another, and do not seek the honor that comes from the only God? Romans chapter 11, verse 33 and 36. Oh, the depths of the, rich, of the riches both of wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are his judgments, and his ways past finding out. For of him, and through him, and to him are all things, to whom be glory forever. Amen. Romans chapter 16, verse 27. To God alone wise, be glory through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. Galatians chapter 1, verse 5. To whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 6 and 8. To the praise of the glory of His grace, of which He made us accepted in the Beloved, which He made to abound toward us in all wisdom and prudence. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 7. That in the ages to come He might show the exceeding riches of His grace and His kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. 
Ephesians chapter 3, verses 10 and 21. To the intent that now the manifold wisdom of God might be known by the church to the principalities and powers in the heavenly places. To him be the glory of the church by Christ Jesus, to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Philippians chapter 1, verse 11. Being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Philippians chapter 2, verse 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Philippians chapter 4, verse 20. Now to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 17. Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, to God alone, is wise, by be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 3. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 18. I'm sorry folks, there is no First Timothy chapter 4 verse 18. Must be an oversight on my part. I'll continue on with something else. Okay, folks and family, the Spotify worship song I have for you today. Yeah, the Spotify worship song I have for you is Local Sound. And the name of the song is On My Side. So the name of the song is On My Side by Local Sound. And I'll post a link to that in the description box below, as well as the YouTube video link you see listed here. The next general entry, April 29, 2020, at 9.11 p.m. during worship. A prayer warrior, I am. A prayer warrior, I am, by yours truly, Raymond X. Let's start with 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verses 3 through 5, key verse 3. You, therefore, must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. And also, if anyone competes in the athletics, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 1. When you go out to battle against your enemies and see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, do not be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is with you, who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Second Samuel chapter 10, verse 12. Be of good courage, and let us be strong for our people and for the cities of our God. And may the Lord do what is good in His sight. Psalm 18, verse 39. For you have armed me with strength for the battle. You have subdued under me those who rose up against me. Psalm 28, verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices. And with my song, I will praise him. Psalm 34, verses 17 through 20. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. He guards all his bones, not one of them is broken. Psalm 44, verse 5. Through you we will push down our enemies. Through your name we will trample those who rise up against us. Psalm 144, verse 1. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for war, and my fingers for battle. Nahum, chapter 2, verse 3. The shields of his mighty men are made red. The valiant men are in scarlet. The chairs come with flaming torches in the day of his preparation, and the spears are brandished. Matthew chapter 26, verses 52 through 54. But Jesus said to him, Put your sword in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Or do you think that I cannot now pray to my Father, and he will provide me with more than twelve legions of angels? How then could the scriptures be fulfilled, that it must happen thus? Luke chapter 3, verse 14. Likewise, the soldiers asked him, saying, And what shall we do? 
So he said to them, Do not intimidate anyone or accuse falsely, and be content with your wages. Romans chapter 13, verse 4. For he is God's minister to you for good. But if you do evil, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain, for he is God's minister, and avenger to execute wrath on him who practices evil. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 11 through 17. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breast plate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. The next general entry, 9, 16 p.m., April 29, 2020, Revelation, chapter 4, verse 11. You are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Amen. An external entry, April 29, 2020, 9, 18 p.m. The unction of the Holy Spirit. The unction of the Holy Spirit. First John, chapter 2, verses 20 and 27. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. But the anointing which you have received from Him abides in you, and you do not need that anyone teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, and is true, and is not a lie, and just as it has been taught you, you will abide in Him. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21 For since in the wisdom of God the world through wisdom did not know God, it pleased God that the foolishness of the message preached to save those who believe. An external entry, April 29, 2020, at 9, 19 p.m. A song in itself is not what you required. It lies much deeper within. This is a song. A song in itself is not what it, you required. It lies much deeper th within. That's a song. I'm going to post that song in the description box below. And here are the books and Bible verses that go along with that. Let's start with Psalm 86, verse 12. I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forevermore. Psalm 138, verses 1 and 2. I will praise you with my whole heart. Before the gods I will sing praises to you. I will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name. For your loving kindness and your truth, for you have magnified your word above all your name. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. Therefore hear, O Israel, and be careful to observe it, that it may be well with you, and that you may multiply greatly as the Lord God of your fathers has promised you a land flowing with milk and honey. Now that was verse 3. Here's verse 5. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. That's verse 5. Psalm 37, verse 31. The law of his God is in his heart. None of the steps shall slide. Psalm 40, verse 8. I like to do your will, O my God, and your law is within my heart. Psalm 51, verse 6. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Psalm 119, verse 11. Your word I have hid in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust the Lord of all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Therefore the Lord said, Inasmuch as these people draw near with their mouths, and honor me with their lips, but have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the commandment of men. Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 33. 
But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law on their minds and write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 37. Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. The Gospel of John, chapter 4, verse 24. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The final journal entry, April 29, 2020, at 9.21 p.m. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua, chapter 24, verse 15. And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Okay, in closing, the Spotify worship song I have for you is by New Wine Worship. This is Love, the Lion Version. This is Love, the Lion Version by new wine worship and I'll post a link to that in the description box below as well as the YouTube video link you see this here on your screen okay folks and family that's the word for today part 6 for April 30th 2020 once again the word for today part 6 April 30th 2020 today is Tuesday August 11th 2020 at 6.05 a.m. This is Raymond X, the Prophet, coming to you once again from Sunny Ocala, Florida, in my apartment bedroom. God bless you all as you go about your day today. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. God bless you all as you go about your day. Remember that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Very, very soon. This is your day of redemption. Your day to repent of all of your sins. This is your salvation day. This is your decision day. Okay, folks. God bless you. God loves you and so do I very much. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next video upload, Lord willing. Bye-bye for now. I love you. Jesus is Lord.